All right, guys, we got a Toyota Camry. This is a 2013. Doesn't matter what year Toyota Camry it is. We got a noise in the back. It's like a rumbling noise, like something like basketball is dribbling, like boom, boom. And uh, every time you hit it, even the softest bump, you hear it. So what I discovered here was these bushings, I could feel a play in these bushings. As I wiggle this, it moves in there. So that's one thing that you always want to check. Let's come across on the other side. So same thing. This is more worse on this side, and I hear more worse on this side. So this thing moves inside internally. So whenever you hit a bump, uh, the shot goes up. This shot goes up, I guess, absorbs the impact. This linkage absorbs the impact, and this linkage absorbs the impact. And the bushing has to absorb the impact, which goes across on the sway bar. And same thing over there. So you want to check your linkages and bushings. Before anything, you do want to tackle your sway bar bushing. So it has two bolts on it, one on each side. And uh, remove those, put in a new bushing. So that's what we're going to do here today on both sides. So I'm waiting for the piece. So to start off, what we're going to do here is just take some WD-40 and spray that onto the bolts. And let it sit for a while. So that way, things come off easy. And if you need to heat them, we will heat them anyways. Let's wait for the new pieces. Okay, so the bolts are like 12 millimeters. So one and one on the opposite side. Let's get this job cranking. So you guys get a good glimpse. I'm gonna leave my camera right here. Let me face it up a bit. So we're working right here. You know what, let's come this way a bit. I uh, got me a 12 millimeter with the ratchet right here. This is the ratchet I'm using as a wobble head extension and a 12 millimeter socket deep socket okay so what we're gonna do here is you might have to heat these babies over time they do get corroded but sometimes they will come out pretty easy just like that you see how simple that was that was pretty easy for me to take this baby off and all this stuff all this corrosion just, just knock it off right now uh, hopefully it's the same on the opposite side. So whenever you get a noise, you might want to, instead of going crazy with the shocks, links, you might want to start with bushings one step at a time, okay? One step at a time, so this bolt comes off, just like that. We're gonna save this, because we're gonna reuse the same bolt. What we need to do is, we need to come across this side now, opposite side, so we're gonna just go down with our camera a bit. And we're gonna come across. That's even a better view than I thought it would be. Uh, let me just set up my camera right now. It's wobbly, but there it is. Uh, same thing. Same thing here. Pretty good and pretty easy. You could do the same thing on the opposite side. Just knock it out really quick. You don't have to do one at one side at a time. There's no load on this baby, okay? So there's nothing gonna come down and bounce and hit you in the face. Even if you take them both sides off. It's not gonna do no harm. Anyway, there it is. This little guy, notice, there's like a little hook on one side. So make sure you put it back the same way. And this baby comes down, you see this little hook? You could put it this way as well, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just keep it the way it is. Uh, next step, there's a small metal piece on the top that stays there. Okay, do not lose that. See this little guy? That stays there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna gently just since I don't got the other side, you're gonna have a force on it, but that's fine. And this bushing, you see the hole, it's on this side. Even if you get it this side, it wouldn't matter much. But what we're gonna do here is, uh, this little stuff, that's fine. So over time, this thing will, what will happen here is, from the movement, back and forth, back and forth, bouncing, 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 this thing will become bigger, or this will get corroded, and over time it will have play, and then your uh, sway bar would, every time you hit a bump, that's the noise you're gonna get. Anyways, let me get some greasing. We're gonna put a little bit of greasing here. Okay, I got some greasing, but prior to that, what you wanna do is make sure this is all nice and clean. Uh, the reason why you wanna put grease is this is just a regular uh, marine grease here, bearing grease, whatever you wanna call it. Put a little bit right here on the bar where it's gonna be inside of the bushing. And the reason why you wanna do that is because as it spins on the new bushing, 
if this plastic and metal together is gonna just rip that bushing apart just like twist and turn it so that lubrication will help it spin easy anyways what I'm gonna do is you're not gonna see the opposite side it's the same procedure here and the same procedure there so I just do them both I'm gonna just show you one time okay meanwhile we're waiting what I did was I took this side apart took off the two bolts and remember this little bracket right here make sure this goes in first when you put it in and here's the second bushing out of here get that lot of here so I'm gonna do the same thing here clean it lubricate it and we, you're not like I said you're not gonna see the side but anyways like I told you this thing has no force on it so it can just sit just like that and let's wait for the new pieces okay so, so you got we got some part numbers here so the customer the, the the parts department sent me two bushings so here's a part number which I don't think is a crack piece and here's a part number for this Camry which I do think is the correct part number. So if you take a look at this hole and this is it's, it's, it's big enough, but this one right here from the other box here, this thing is tiny. So I, I wouldn't want the hole to be so small and that would just rip everything apart. So we're gonna take this baby and put it onto the vehicle. Okay, so we're here, since we already got the greasing on, okay, we're gonna get this out of the package. So I want to prepare this guy first. So remember, if we put it like this, um, this is fine here. It should grip right onto it perfectly. There should be no play. Like you see, if I open it up, it wiggles around. You don't want that. Anyways, we have this little guy that fell out of there. So this guy goes in. And after that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the second piece which goes right here like so. and this guy goes up and after that you're gonna take your two bolts put these babies in one once you put one in should hold in place so go ahead tighten one up completely you don't need to worry about the other side yet okay you can tighten this all the way nice and tight because you can't install the other side with this thing nice and tight. So hand tight first. And then I will take my ratchet. And I'm going to lock this baby up really nice. So you don't want to snap the bolt. So just go enough when it holds. And if you have torque specs, do so. But other than that, this is perfectly fine. We're done here. I'm gonna just show you guys the opposite side as well. So there is the completed job. Okay, same thing on this side. Let's clean this baby up. This doesn't have to be, you can, don't even try to buff it or anything like that. You will make that thinner and that will be a problem as well. Anyways, there's that. Uh, again, same part number. What we're gonna do is get this out of the box. And same thing, face it back. We are gonna get this little plate. Remember the other side is nice and tight. You can push this baby down, it's okay. Um, don't hurt yourself. Just go easy on it. You can even push it a little bit forward to get this side in and get this baby in. And after that, this thing should sit flush right there in the center. And what you want to do is take this last piece, push this in. Everything just holds itself. And here comes soil bar bushing bolts same thing tighten these babies up nice and tight and then you're all set and after this most likely your rumbling noise should go away unless there's issue with your sway bar links or the strut or the strut mount but this is your step one most likely you can see the play in them Okay, it's visible. Even this one, if you move it around, 
you pull up and down on it, you can see the plate. And I am all done and set here. And I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. If you guys got any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message. See you guys on the next one. And that's it. No movement whatsoever. Thank you for watching.